So when Eric Snydel forecasts out five days, that's actually, you know, a challenge. Right. The further out you go, Adam, the more difficult the forecasting gets. So I hear, but we wanted to put that to the test. We wanted to see what Rochester would look like, I don't know, a half century from now. James Gilbert took up the challenge, put on his big binoculars, and took a look out of 2070. Rochester's weather is drastically different from week to week, but seasonal change has been consistent, except over the last few hundred years as climate change starts to shift our seasons. So how has Rochester winter changed? The meteorological winter is December, January, and February, and the trend line for snowfall over the last 50 years has been slightly down, about four inches. This matches a pattern across the Northeast, according to Climate Central's meteorologist, Sean Sublet. As we go into the longer term, let's say 20, 30 years and beyond, uh, a more pronounced decline in snowfall is more likely. While there may be a general decrease in seasonal snowfall, the Great Lakes are a wild card. We are seeing warmer temperatures, and we're also seeing less ice forming. That could mean more lake effect snow in the near term, and maybe more future big snow events. More snow in the next few decades could mean good business for ski resorts, as they expect more customers coming from the south, where less and less snow is expected. When it comes to temperature, Rochester winters have trended up over the last 50 years, from 25 degrees Fahrenheit to 29 degrees, warming faster than any other season. Projecting ahead another 50 years, we go even warmer, putting us above the freezing mark. It will still be cold. You will still have cold outbreaks, no question, all right? But the intensity of those cold outbreaks, the duration of those cold outbreaks, will not be as sustainable as they have been in the past. 2070 is not that far away and will be warmer than winters now with more rain than snow and shorter cold blasts. But the cold will still make an appearance and so will the snow. James Gilbert, News 8. All right, if I make it to 2070 and James is wrong, I'm gonna hobble over to wherever he is and let them know. <laughs> According to the experts, the maple syrup industry will have to adapt to climate change with warmer winters. Not as much sap available in production could drop in the coming decades. By the way, we have two more days of the winter weather.